Sri Tavan Kumar Sen, you, 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 you see the problem is you finish, uh, your party has only 20 minutes left, but there are two more speakers from your party. Therefore, I will call the next person. I'll finish. Eh? Eh? You are going to speak? Yes. How can? I'll finish shortly. Very briefly. What is the meaning of shortly? Because the ma matter Take. was very old last session. So, uh, so three minutes. I am so taking the advantage Take. of Honorable Finance. Take Minister three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Just to recapitulate a few points. Three minutes. Complete my submission within few minutes. Three minutes. In really in terms of few minutes. Uh, that is uh, three. Anyway, I have already spoken on this uh, budget uh, in the last part of the session, and I have driven home trying to meet certain points, and definitely I think. Uh, the ministry has taken note of it. I will really reply to request to kindly respond the points raised by me. I can ask for the privilege uh, from the honourable minister. Usually in the reply many points are ignored. Particularly I like to draw attention just in a bullet form and kindly uh, tell the minister to respond whenever he will be replying to the uh, budget. Number one, that Honorable Minister, while taking over as Finance Minister and making a statement in this House, after this new government came, he told that in the given situation, if economy is made through reducing expenditure, that will not lead to that will lead to further recession and further gloom. So, important is to avoid contractionary measures. In terms of budget, this budget is a decline of the size in terms of GDP, should not the other uh, steps not being taken. My second point, kindly respond, why year after year, year after year, a huge amount of direct tax are lying unrecovered and you consistently in every budget making the statement in your receipt budget, tax raised but not realized. And in the current year, it, the amount is 6.59 lakh crores. A country, a government, constrained by the scam, lack of resources, can afford that luxury to continue like this. And even in the current budget, why such anomalous position that you sacrifice 20,000 crores in direct taxes? And you targeted to generate 75,000 crore additional revenue through indirect taxes, particularly at a time, the overall gloomy situation of the economy, that situation demanded that a burden of indirect tax need to be reduced on the people. Let them have some little more purchasing power to generate some aggregate demand in the market which may create a congenial atmosphere for more investment because investment is always a factor dependent on this return on investment, not on various concessions. So this is a, a, the number, this point I uh, like to particularly uh, want the finance minister while replying whenever he reply, kindly respond uh, to this size. And thirdly, I like to understand from minister, there is no question, no blaming. Three. What is the logic behind doing away with your plan expenditure and non-plan expenditure? You are now putting the expenditure in the single basket and showing there are some increase in absolute terms. The importance of plan and non-plan expenditure, as I understand, in any budget, in any allocation, one is the kind of ex administrative expenditure. And another is an expenditure made for expansion and growth. Once you add this together for a layman like us, it is very difficult to make out what is your projection in generating additional value through your budgetary expenditure. So what is the logic behind that and what is happening if you kindly go through in different allocations? in different allocations on different sensitive, people sensitive ministries, you will find that the, say on SCST, in labor, I particularly have gone through that budget, that 88 percent is an allocation on general account, only 12 percent is allocation on SCST account on the targeted scheme. And the last point, kindly 
uh, educate, I like to be educated by Honorable Finance Minister. After this, there are a number of cesses for labor welfare. We, worker says, mine worker says, construction worker says, which is established by an act made by the parliament. What will the future of these cesses? BD worker cesses are continuing still, I know. But I have been told that other cesses have been discontinued. Why so? Particularly a cess made through an act of parliament, say construction worker says. Similarly, the mine workers and others says. Why the, those have been, I have been told that, that the, the, those are going to be abolished after 1 4 2016. What is the import of that kind of a decision? Yes, conclude. Particularly when the, these cases are discovered, okay. made as an avenue to targeted for the tar benefit of the targeted beneficiary who are otherwise the most downtrodden section of the working people but at the same time making huge value for the country's economy, making huge contribution towards GDP. So these are the issues okay. I think uh, Honorable Minister uh, should clarify, some for educating me and some for real clarification over the whole budgetary okay. exercise. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tabansan. Sri CM Ramesh. Sri KTS Tulsi, absent. Dr. Subhash Chandra, absent.